Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to get started and put Sample Tank to work and record our first part. We're going to load a drum sound in and learn how to scroll through the patches linearly. Then we're going to record a part into Logic and then set the polyphony and volume for the part in Sample Tank. So the first thing I want to do is browse through my instruments on this section over here. I'm going to click the Disclosure Triangle for Drums and then further go to the submenu for Acoustic. And here you'll see all the available instruments. I'm going to double click on Funky to load it in. And it loads in the sound and you'll see the kit right there. And I can trigger the sounds now from my MIDI keyboard. Or from the keyboard here. Now you can scroll through the patches linearly, meaning up and down, by using these two arrow keys here. Now when I click down, you'll see it goes to another instrument that has some record noise in it. I'll go down one more. And it goes to another instrument called More Funky Room. Now these are subsets or variations of the main funky kit. This is called the parent instrument and this is called the child. So you can have as many child instruments related or connected to the parent instrument as you want. And later in these videos, we're going to save our own instruments and have them associated with a parent instrument that they come from. But for now, I'm going to use the main funky version. The one in bold is the parent, and the ones in plain text are the child variations. I'm going to use the regular version of funky. So there we go. So you can scroll up and down using that. Let's get Logic ready to record. I have the MIDI through set to quantize to 16th notes with a little bit of swing and an 80% strength setting. So we're going to have stuff sort of auto quantized partially as we record in. It's a good idea. I'm going to hit the key command V to hide the plugin temporarily. It's a good idea in Logic to name the track before you record so it'll take on the sound that you're recording. So because I have all these tracks associated with the same instrument, I can give each of them a unique track name. I'm going to double click here and call this drums. So now the part that I record will have the name drums on it in the arrange window. I'm going to hit V and bring the plugin back. All right, let's record our first part. I'm going to do one pass doing kick and snare. Okay, quick little fill at the end there, and I'm going to overdub a part now, a hi-hat on top. All right. So there we have a quick little drum part loaded in and played in and programmed in, and it got auto-quantized. Now, when I play it back, you'll see the level meter jumping over here. And you'll also see the keys on the keyboard playing over there. So I can trigger the keyboard by either clicking with the mouse here or hitting with my MIDI keyboard or playing the sequence and have it be triggered that way. All right, let's set the polyphony now. The global polyphony for this whole sample tank multi-instrument is set in the lower right here. And I'm going to mouse drag it all the way up to the top to 256, which is the maximum polyphony, because we're going to be building a big arrangement, most likely with all or most of these 16 parts. And then we can set the polyphony per part in this column over here. So I'm going to lower it. Right now it's set to 32. I'm going to lower it to 16, which should be more than enough. And I'm going to set the volume for this part now. So this is different from the global volume for the whole instrument. This is the volume per part. So these rows are all the parameters for this part, and the different columns are the parameters for the entire multi. So this field over here is the volume here. I'm going to drag it down to, let's say, 80, and set the volume like that. Let's give a last quick listen and just make sure it sounds OK. All right, I want to leave some headroom for when we build our arrangement. So that's it for this video. So just to give you a quick little recap, we loaded a sound in by scrolling through our instruments over here via the disclosure triangles. 
We looked at scrolling through the sounds using the up and down arrows and exploring how the parent and child relationship works between the different instruments. And then we named the track in Logic and recorded our drum part and overdubbed a hi-hat. We set the polyphony globally for the whole multi-instrument here and then for this specific part in this field here. And then we set the volume for this specific part, the first part over here. So that's it. Stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to look at this drum part in more detail and edit the pitch of different zones. See you next time.